As he walks the halls of Galena Park High School, senior basketball player Brandon Taylor certainly stands tall amongst his peers. But standing tall wasn't much of an option for Brandon when he first arrived on campus. I told his mom I was having a problem getting him to just act like a young man and walk properly down the hallway. And she said, Coach, have you ever seen his back? Brandon's back, as Coach Johnny Price would soon come to learn, was impacted by a severe case of spinal scoliosis, an especially difficult diagnosis for a rising basketball star. It almost brought tears to my eyes. It was the worst I've ever seen a kid's back. And after talking with the doctors, they said not only was it crooked, but it had also turned. And it was one of the worst some of the doctors have seen. Even as Brandon's condition worsened, on the basketball court, Brandon was flourishing, even ranked among the nation's top 25 freshman basketball players. But by the spring of his freshman year, basketball would have to take a back seat to the severity of Brandon's condition. It was crooked and it was turned, so it was messing with some of the organs in my body. And he told me, if I don't get the surgery as soon as possible, it can get worse and it could possibly kill me. So that spring, Brandon underwent seven hours of meticulous surgery to straighten the spine, a surgery in which doctors actually had to break Brandon's back in three places to insert a pair of large steel rods. The risk of such a surgery? Losing the ability to walk. My whole family was scared, but all I did was pray, pray, pray as much as I could. So I put everything in God's hands and everything came out good. So good that Brandon stood two inches taller shortly after the surgery was over with. His recovery, while painful, was amazingly swift. And just four months following the surgery, this highly touted athlete was back to playing basketball. All of that's remarkable. The recovery was remarkable. The surgery was remarkable. The technology today was remarkable. I just couldn't believe he could recover as fast. The doctors were amazed at recovery too, but he was in such great shape prior to the surgery, and that had a great deal to do with his recovery. A recovery which Brandon credits in big part to the support of his family and his Galena Park teammates. Family on three. One, two, three, Brandon! They constantly checked up on me every day just to see how I was doing. And I, I, I thank them for that. I love my teammates for that. He's a big... Uh, part of our team and but he had the back surgery and recovery we tried to visit him the most we could and uh, get him back here like make him feel welcome but Brandon's incredible comeback story doesn't end there halfway through his junior season Brandon suffered a devastating injury to his right knee that wasn't good when it happened I was hurt I didn't want it to happen I didn't know, when I first did it, I didn't know it was torn. So I, I, I ended up playing the rest of the game, and the next day, I went to Doc, and they told me I need to go get an MRI. The MRI would reveal a torn ACL, necessitating major surgery on Brandon's knee. Following six months of intensive rehab, Brandon rejoined his teammates just prior to his senior season. And again, the surgery, quite remarkable what they did going in with the, with the surgeries and his recovery again he worked he really worked for it and with that hard work Brandon has re-emerged as a legitimate college basketball prospect and while he no longer is ranked among the nation's best players Brandon's drive and determination certainly puts him in elite company I see injuries as obstacles you have to overcome obstacles just to do what you want to do and that's how I feel like what I've done I've overcame two serious obstacles and I'm still playing sports today.